Well, a few things are apparent when working with sheet metal. One is it has sharp edges after it's been processed quite often, and you don't want those sharp edges to hurt the people that handle it. But even more so, folds can make sheet metal stronger, and we can kill two birds with one stone using hems. So maybe you think that this course so far is a little bit rough around the edges, but not after this. This is the sheet metal part that we've been working on so far, and let's talk about the different hems that can be done. Perhaps I'd like to hem uh, this surface up here and this surface up here. Perhaps they'll be handled regularly and we want to keep people's hands more safe from sharp edges that would have occurred earlier. Uh, to do that, we'll grab flange. We'll select this inside edge. And as we apply this flange, I can change this to 180. And this is our first type of hem known as an open hem. And it's very simple, 180 degree angle bent at your standard radius. Probably the most simple hem that you can have. There's another kind of hem called a flat hem where this radius angle here, we would go into this box and enter a value that's probably close to zero, as close as the uh, program can handle. And uh, that would give us a flat hem, but I would not say that that's advisable because such tight bends can and a lot of materials present risks of their integrity. They might crack or break or just lack integrity when folded that tight. So I recommend using the default radius when possible. So that would be our basic hem. There's another type of hem known as a teardrop hem. And it's an open hem, except we up this value a little bit and we create a teardrop type of shape. Uh, Teardrop hems are very useful, and I think I'd actually probably prefer one a little bit more than an open hem in some applications. We also might want to work with a rope hem. Uh, this is another one I really like. I'll select bend only over here, and this option actually allows me to not have any straight part coming off of my bend. Right? We bend it with no straight section, and then I can up this to say 285, somewhere around there. And you can see that we have a completely rolled edge. So all the sharpness and stuff is really pointed towards the inside and it makes it really convenient to be able to grab. It almost gives you a really small handle to be able to grip it well with. So I think the rolled hems are quite nice. Always recall that we uh, have the luxury of being able to add a little bit of offset on an edge so that we don't have to be super close to this corner or bend if we would like. Uh, there's another kind of hem known as a rope hem that'll go through. It's a less common hem. It's a little bit more complex, but I really, really like it. Uh, we're gonna go down to about 230 in our bend angle. And I'll go ahead and apply that. And then I'll select this edge to apply a flange on. And when we do, you'll see we have some graphical irregularities. Uh, that's to be expected because we'll need to uncheck the bend only box. If we do want to, by chance, add a bend only again, I'll recheck the box and uh, you can see then it accounts for uh, bend only. But in this case, I'll uncheck the box and we'll give this a realistic angle, which will help to clear things up here. We'll say, that I want a 50 degree bend angle. And uh, we're still self intersecting down here so we get some graphical anomalies from all these intersections. But we can clear that up simply by adding a smaller distance where we don't intersect. And our graphics look good. This is a rope hem because it seems to curve around a little bit like a rope and we can play with these values to get uh, a very small gap here if we would wish. But I'll go ahead and apply that now, we can still apply a flat pattern, so we know that uh, we can still flatten everything out. We're not intersecting in a weird way anymore. And uh, those are how we can hem our edges. So perhaps I'll add in a hem on this side as well. I'll apply a bend only. I'll give myself a little bit of offset on this side, and I'll go with 285. So I've got a rolled side, a rolled hem over here, and a rope hem over here, because I don't have to worry about my vents. 
and I can still flat pattern everything. And that is how we hem, no needle or thread needed. See you in the next video where we're going to cover more.